Well, big breaking news coming in at noon. Headlines today is in exclusive possession of the guest diary of CBI top boss Ranjit Sinha and that it uh, has indeed played host to a scam, cold scam accused. It also shows that not only the 2G scam accused who have been meeting CBI director Ranjit Sinha at his residence but also cold scam accused too have been frequent visitors at 2 Janpath. Documents show that son of Vijay Darda, Devendra Darda, is a frequent visitor at the house of Ranjit Sinha. Devendra Darda, along with his father, his uncle Rajendra Darda and his cousin, is an accused in the coal scam. Vijay Darda is a member of parliament from Yavatmal and the role of the Dardas is being investigated by the Central Bureau of Investigation in the allotment of coal blocks to Nagpur-based businessman Manoj Jaiswal and his other family members. Now, documents show that Devendra Darda visited the house of Ranjit Sinha on various dates and travelled in cars bearing a registration number UP14 AN7603, MH31 BH 4x5 and MH40 M 4x5. Now, it is not only Darda who has been a frequent visitor, others who are under the scanner in the coal scam like MP Rungta have also been frequent visitors. The visit of a person named Mithilesh has also raised several eyebrows. Now, documents show that Mithilesh has been visiting the house of CBI director Ranjit Sinha at least two to three times in the day. Well, senior advocate Kamini Jaiswal is now joining us on the phone line. Former uh, Kamini, take us through what you make of this exclusive news break. It was representatives of 2G companies who were earlier visiting Ranjit Sinha's house. But now headlines today is in exclusive possession of the visitor diary which shows that accused himself are visiting uh, Ranjit Sinha's house. What do you make of these developments? What do I make of this is that it's as clear as a crystal what could be the motive of these people visiting uh, Mr. Sinha. And it is being now argued in court that we, uh, by placing this before the court, are trying to demolish the institution. Right. I want to ask the question, who is demolishing the institution, the director CBI or the people who are produced, exposing his misdemeanors? Right. The man must go immediately. I don't understand why government is not taking action. Well, absolutely. Kamini, Kamini, stay on with us. My colleague Ashish Mehershi, who is in fact breaking this exclusive information to us on headlines today, is with me in the studio. He'd like to ask you a question. Ashish, go ahead. Kamini ji, uh, thank you so much for joining headlines today. One thing, you know, which is very, very interesting here is five figures are coming out. One is Devendra Darda. The other is, other is MP Rungta. Third person is Mithilesh. And then there are two more people, Moin Akhtar Qureshi and AP Singh. Now these five figures that we have been able to churn out from the documents, they have been very frequent visitors. Now at least the two people in the first case, that is Devendra Darda and MP Rungta, they both are under scanner. And apart from that, Mithilesh, a person, you know, the eyebrows are being raised for the reason because this person visits at least three times, at least two to three times at two Janpa, that is the house of Ranjit Sinha. And then Mohin Akhtar Qureshi's role and AP Singh's role is being investigated in the Hawala scam, which is being investigated by the Income Tax Department. Now, what do you see of this entire information? No, what do I see? I think it is, you know, as clear as anything, it's as clear as daylight. What is happening? This director must go. People have been talking all along as to what is going on. What we are being accused of is that we are trying to demolish the premier investigating agency. What is the head of the premier investigating agency doing meeting with the accused or proposed accused or named accused? No, but here, here, Kaminiji. Who is going to investigate now? Kaminiji, what, what is the take? The take that, the take that Mr. Ranjit Sinha has been taking that he, ha though he has met the 2G accused. Now I don't know what he, what his take is going to be as far as Dardas go. But in the earlier, uh, you know, the uh, whatever has been revealed earlier, uh, he says that I have not shown any favors. Though I have but met them earlier, he, he said that he has not met them. Then he how do we prove? How do we prove that he showed? Uh, he did not show favors. We will be able to. That will only be after the investigation. Let the whole thing has to be gone into by a high, high-powered committee, right? Not the premier investigating agency. But Kamini ji, if if I am agency. not wrong, this is nothing illegal to my understanding. It might be a case of propriety. Well, absolutely. No, how is it how is it legal for a proposed accused uh, who are under scanner to be meeting the head of the department which is investigating them? No, you being what a senior a, lawyer, what does this mean? Two and two will uh, make can an accused go and meet? Can an accused go no, and meet no, the no. person who is investigating they this? They are scan? only uh, 
when they are called, they would be called to the office. Right. This is also they are meeting in the residence. Kamini Jaiswal, we'd like to seek I'm a legal sorry, opinion this on this. Can there be charges then that can be framed against the Dardas for meeting uh, the head of the investigating body? Sorry, this is the offence is not by the accused. The offence is by the director. He should be charged under the PC Act. There would be a presumption that if he, in any of these cases, that as, you know, the larger investigation has to take place as to what is it that happened in these matters against right. these people, and if the director has, uh, there has also been that there has been undue pressure on the investigating officers. Some investigating officers have, have been tried to be removed. All this, that is, I'm saying, there has to be a high-powered special investigating team to go into all this. And then you will find how two and two make four and two and two do not make six. It's very clear. I don't think. Kamini ji, what what you know this this document has you know in totality has been submitted with the Supreme Court as well. Now, what is the view that the Supreme Court should take? What is your opinion? I am not here to advise Supreme Court. Supreme Court will see what is happening. Supreme Court must direct further investigation by some department, by some people. Who uh, first of all, the man must be removed from his office. No, but he who would investigate? CBI is in then, itself a premier investigating agency. No, that is why do we stop, stop calling CBI premier investigating agency if it is headed by a person like this? You have to say it's an investigating agency, if not worse than the police, just an investigating agency which has been finished and demolished by the director. Kamini Jaiswal, in your, in, in your opinion, uh, you know, you're saying that charges can in fact be framed against Ranjit Sinha for meeting after accused in the cold after game. Inve further investigation has to take place into this incident and what actually happened and thereafter he can be charged under the BC Act if something is found. Right, Kamini but Jaiswal. first thing, he must be removed for impropriety. Right, Kamini he Jaiswal. Be there. the premier investigating agency. Right. Kamini Jaiswal, their senior Supreme Court lawyer, in fact, saying that this is a question of impropriety and a special investigation should, in fact, be launched against Ranjit Sinha, after which, in fact, charges can be framed in the court of law. Ashish Maharshi, my colleague, breaking this information to us, is with us live in the studio. Ashish, clearly, this is what uh, the big question really has been, that this is, in fact, not illegal for him to meet uh, with these people, but it is really a question of propriety for, uh, you know, the head of the CBI to be meeting calls can Very accused. true, uh, Rishika. You know, in fact, what the big question is, why should an accused? Because in, at least in the 2G scam, the accused were not meeting. People, representatives of the company that has been accused of, uh, you know, manipulation right. in, in 2G were meeting. But here there is a case where, you know, Devendra Darda along with his father Vijay Darda, his uncle Rajendra Darda and his cousin, they are the accused in the 2G scam. And if the accused of the 2G scam is on a regular basis visiting the house of CBI, then I, obviously eyebrows would be raised. Obviously there is nothing wrong in meeting somebody. Right. You cannot call it illegal. But then should an accused go and meet CBI director and the CBI director should open the doors for him? That is a big question mark that needs to be answered. But you know, Ashish, you have exclusively accessed the visitor diary of the CBI director. Take us through some of the other people who are on that visitor diary and why is it that, you know, uh, this visitor diary is so suspect and the needle of suspicion definitely points to Ranjit Sinha because he's been meeting people, whether they are accused in the Hawala scam or whether they are coal scam accused or whether they are representatives, uh, you know, of companies accused in the 2G scam. The most important portion here would be that the view the Supreme Court takes. Now, what one has to understand, Rishika, is that it can be denied that this diary does not belong to to Janpath, where right. Mr. Ranjit Sinha stays. Right. Now, you, it requires a forensic investigation. Whose handwriting is it? Why people visit it? The people at the gate should be investigated. These are areas of investigation that needs to be looked at. But here, there are three more people that is, you know, very, very important. One is a, myth, a person called Mithilesh. Now, this person is visiting twice or thrice in a day on a regular basis. Now, we have also tried to find out, you know, he was traveling in a car uh, with bearing registration number DL3CBD7216. Now, it does not belong in his name. It belongs to a person called Satish Kumar. And, you know, he's residing in Uttam Nagar. Right. Now, we have to check 
uh, you know, on whose car is it? Why was Mithilesh using this car on a regular basis? And there is another entry where we try to check, you know, whether, uh, you know, on whose name this vehicle is. That number is actually fake. It is, it is does not, uh, you know, uh, it is not in the records of uh, the transport department. And the other two people, that is Moin Akhtar Qureshi and AP Singh. Now, everybody knows there is an investigation by the income tax department in this matter. Right. Because, uh, you know, AP Singh, there are allegations that money belonging to AP Singh was actually being uh, sent through Hawala from Dubai to UK and that was tracked by income tax authorities and that is the matter being investigated by income tax authorities where here another important aspect is that Ranjit Sinha wrote to income tax department that is CBDT where he had very clearly said that I want details of the investigation of the IT department on the on the search conducted by income tax department on Mohin Akhtar Qureshi. Now here the most important portion is if these people are visiting his house Mohin right. Akhtar Qureshi and AP Singh is it on their behalf that he had written this letter. So right. these are areas of investigation that we have to look into. Well, absolutely. Also, you know, it brings us to the other question of uh, why visit him at his residence and why not at his office? Does this at all also, you know, point to this being a bit of a suspicious kind of... Uh, well, if meeting? you see, usually uh, the investigating officer appointed right. by the, the investigating agency is in touch with the accused. Right. He asks them for visits. He, they are, uh, you know, they are questioned, they are summoned. But we have never seen in the past that the accused have been visiting the house of the CBI director. Right. Why he, they have been visiting that needs to be answered and that certainly needs to be investigated. Well absolutely also uh, Ranjit Sinha's defense in the past has been quite a poor defense as, as many would say he has in fact said that though he has met with the you know in, in that case he was talking about the representatives of the 2G company but says that no favors have uh, in but fact been exchanged. There's no that evidence is his take favors. but that needs to be investigated whether favors right. have been given or not. At least, uh, you know, if 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 uh, accused of visiting, that needs to be answered. And if favors have been given or not, th that might be his take. And that is what even the clarification and yesterday's press release of CBI has been, where they have said that you know the the reports have been false, baseless, and malicious, and intended solely solely to destroy the credibility of the CBI as an institution. But right. then, if the credibility needs to be restored, the CBI director has to answer. Uh, you know, in this case, that why the accused were visiting his house. That needs to be that certainly needs to be investigated. Well, absolutely. Also, Ashish, your investigation has thrown up another very interesting fact, which is that Ranjit Sinha had in fact sold, sought details of the Hawala investigations against uh, Moin Qureshi and AP Singh and from the income tax department and it was denied to him. On what grounds was this denial actually no, done? No, in fact, you know, th because it involves the former CBI director AP Singh, right. this entire Hawala transaction, which is, uh, you know, allegedly around 150 crores. We still don't have the correct figure. Right. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the investigating agency, that is the income tax department, they had found incriminating evidence against Moin Akhtar Qureshi and AP Singh and a notice was also issued to AP Singh recently by the income tax department asking on you know how he had spent that kind of money abroad right so that is the matter of investigation that investigation the details of that investigation was asked by uh, CBI director and that was refused by the investigative premier investigating agency right. that is the CBDT chairman he had denied giving information to Ranjit Sinha so these things certainly gives you know raises eyebrows and certainly uh, you know suspicion is raised but you know Ashish the story that initially was against Ranjit Sinha was the fact that 2G representatives uh, accused uh, you know of co companies accused in the 2G scam representatives of those companies had in fact met with Ranjit Sinha but the visitor diary that you have in your possession that headlines today has put out exclusively shows that the accused himself has visited Ranjit Sinha on more than one occasion so clearly the you know the charges this time against Ranjit Sinha or rather the needle of suspicion is perhaps far more graver Kamini Jaiswal came out and said that uh, you know the CBI top boss should in fact be sacked there should be a special investigation do you think the fact that we have evidence of these meetings, it warrants a special investigation? Certainly, because it entails the entire, th whether it is 2G scam or whether it is coal scam, it is monitored right. by the Supreme Court. And obviously, Prashant Bhushan, through CPIL, has filed this in the Supreme Court that, you know, he, uh, the CBI director should recuse himself, at least in 2G scam. Right. But here, the most important aspect is that the coal scam accused himself has visited the house. Absolutely. Now, now the Supreme Court's view is going to be very, very important whether a special investigation team is appointed to, uh, to to, you know to investigate the role of CBI director into the entire thing that entirely depends on the Supreme Court.
Well, absolutely. The ball really is in the Supreme Court's uh, uh, jurisdiction, so to speak, at this point in time. Whether or not a special investigation would be launched against CBI Director Ranjit Sinha is really the big question. The story of the hour that we're breaking to you here exclusively on Headlines today. We are in the possession of the visitor's diary of the CBI top boss Ranjit Sinha, who has in fact been playing host to coal scam accused the Darda family has been meeting with Ranjit Sinha in a personal capacity at his residence. Remember, these are not visits that have been paid to his office, but in fact to his residence. My colleague Ashish Mehshi, thank you for joining us with that exclusive news break. It's a story we're going to continue to track all through the day here on Headlines Today. We're going to bring you political reactions. We're going to chase CBI sources and we're going to continue to develop on this story all day on Headlines Today.